Welcome back everyone. Doug Wallace here with Base Camp Country Real Estate. Say so we're up at my farm today. We're actually set up in the house here. Been raining off and on. We're finishing up the fourth video in this four part series. I have some fresh content coming after this one as well. But today we're discussing, maybe we're really just weighing the pros and cons. Uh, which one's better when you're purchasing a hunting farm? Is it better to purchase one that's fully set up, ready to go, or a blank slate? I think if you answer the next four questions, you'll arrive at the answer that best suits you. First thing you want to do is really analyze your finances. How much money do you have for that down payment right off the get-go? And then how much of a monthly payment will your finances support? These properties that have cabins and shouse or uh, established food plots, existing deer stands, uh, a history of QDM, well, a property like that in a really good location is just going to bring quite a bit more money than a blank slate property does in the same general area that doesn't have any of those things. And maybe your finances are telling you that things like a cabin or these redneck style blinds, you're going to need to plan for those type of purchases farther down the road after you get to the closing table. You know, if all you can do is get the property bought, that's fine. Don't try keeping up with the Joneses. The last thing we want to do is get you in a financial pickle over purchasing a farm. Second is, what's your family life like? Do you have young kids that are really active in sports and 4-H, FFA, or many other activities? Well, if you want to be at all of those things, chances are you're not going to have enough time to do all the projects that a blank slate property is going to require. So that property that's fully set up, ready to go, probably matches your lifestyle better. Let's just make sure that it also matches your finances. The third thing is, is how much time do you have available after family time? You know, we all have a professional career. Well, you may have a, a career that requires you to work a lot of hours. Maybe you're on call nights and weekends and holidays. That was me. For over 30 years, I was in the heating and air conditioning trade, and there was just certain times of the year, I was going to have to work a lot of late hours, and then I was going to be on call a certain number of nights, weekends, and holidays. Well, if you're a person with a job like that, and then you match that with a really active family life, you're probably going to be lucky just to get out to your deer stand a few days uh, when it is season, so that property that's fully set up, ready to go, makes more sense. Or maybe you're lucky enough to have a job where your nights and weekends and holidays are free. You have the financial ability to, to, to buy either one. Well, then it's really just going to come down to price and location of the property. The fourth one is this. What's your level of enjoyment? You, maybe you really like deer hunting, but you may not really like doing farm projects that are going to be required from a blank slate uh, property. Well, if you have the financial means, you can always hire those things done. But you may be the guy that really likes doing the farm projects, setting it up, managing it, making that property uniquely yours. Uh, you know, it doesn't take away from your family time. Or better yet, maybe the entire family's involved in all these projects. Well then, that blank slate property makes more sense for you and your family, even if uh, your finances meant you could buy the other one. Whichever one uh, fits you right there, there's a couple other things you need to take into account for and that's the cost of tractors and implements, sprayers. You gotta have those things to be able to get your food plots in in a timely fashion, but those things aren't cheap. They can really drive up the upfront cost of a property. Now you can always hire someone to do your food plots as well. You're just gonna be relying on them and their time frame. And for me, those fall food plots got a pretty short window to get them in so that they, they produce the way that we're wanting them to. Well, what were the answers to those four questions for you? Uh, which one uh, meets your wants, needs, and desires better? Leave me a comment below. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when the next video comes out. Then pick up the phone. Give me a call. Let's start looking for that property that matches the answers to those four questions for you. It's more than just dirt. It's a lifestyle. When you're ready, I'll be right here. Until then, keep on dreaming.